Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Come on. I'm bringing you in. What? Why? Questioning. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Uh, the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. <sighs> what happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, then go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... 
Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. Always. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out.
He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Paper towels in the number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. You can always come quietly. Not sure you knew that was an option before. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. This fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. It's okay, Grim. It's funny, just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. For money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. Just shut up. I'm taking you in. For what? We've had punch-ups before, Bigby. Never had to get official. Just blown off some steam is all. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt! Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. About this fucking lapdog. 
when they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. He's had enough. Whiskey. Double. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck.
That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Uh... Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Thank you. 